as we've been talking about Canon, the R5 and the R6 overheating, I thought of a really good analogy. At least it, it, it made sense to me. I don't know if you'll agree, but when people say the R5, the R6, they're great photography cameras, they overheat, so just you know, go buy a video camera or whatever, you know, like that's fine. Or I talk about the S1H and the autofocus, and you know, like, oh, just go buy a, a Canon or a Sony instead. I thought of this really, it, this example struck me of you go to a restaurant, maybe it's a fast food joint, a local diner, whatever. You go and it's known for their burgers. They have the best burgers around. You go with a group of friends, and then there's a friend that says, you know, like, I'm not really in the mood for a burger. Like, I'm gonna do like the chicken, the chicken strips. And then you go, oh, but it's a burger place. You gotta get the burger. They said, no, I just, I'm in the mood for chicken strips. And they get the chicken strips, you get the burger. The burger's delicious. The chicken strips are like frozen from a bag. They're just like this extra thing they probably have on like the kids menu. It's not really the, what the place is known for. They have these bad chicken strips. And the person goes, man, these chicken strips are just not, not really that great. Not that great at all. I don't really like this spot. And you go, yeah, but you were supposed to be eating the burger. The person's like, yeah, but I was in the mood for chicken strips. Like that's what I wanted. And these were not that good. So I don't really like this spot, but it's known for the burger. Like you have to get the burger here. Well, well I'm in the mood for chicken strips. A couple days later, you go to the chicken strip spot. You go to the chicken strip place, the place that's the local joint that's known for their, the best chicken around. Two friends go, person gets the chicken strips, and the other person goes, you know, I'm really craving a burger today. I'm craving a burger. Sure enough, on the menu, they got a burger. They order the burger to sit down. Chicken strips, yes, the chicken is the best around. Bar none, it's the best chicken. Burger, not half bad. It's not awful. It's not great. It's just so-so. It's just so-so. In that scenario, the experience for each of those people is kind of different, right? Like the person who got the burger was really happy over here, and then they got a decent burger over here, but they would obviously prefer to go to the burger joint because they really like burgers. The chicken strip person, they had the best chicken strips and then the worst chicken strips. So they're only going to prefer the chicken place and they had a bad experience with the chicken over here and that's kind of what i compare i don't know if it's a terrible analogy but i thought i thought i kind of liked it comparing to like the canon r5 it might be the best burger you've ever had it might have to be the best photography camera the best autofocus but these few crippling video features are like those really bad chicken strips where it's just like i i don't like it i'm gonna go over here where they have really good chicken strips and they have a decent burger as well it might not be the best but hey, it's it's pretty good. And the other person looks and says, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like they got a good, good burger over there, but why are you hating on my thing over here? And it's like, I'm not hating. I'm not saying the R5 is bad. I'm not saying the R6 is bad for those features. I'm just saying it doesn't have what I personally want in the camera. And I thought that was a good analogy for like just the way people get worked up about cameras and their favorite food joints. Like people get passionate about what they're into and what their personal preference dictates, whether you like burgers or you like chicken strips, whether you're a photographer, a videographer, there's different cameras, different restaurants with different flavors, different tastes. And I think that can get lost when someone's complaining, like me probably, about the overheating on the R5 and the R6 and being like, these chicken strips are bad. And then the person's like, you came to a burger joint and you're expecting you know, good chicken strips, what's wrong with you? Like I get that argument, but at the same time, I would probably prefer to go to the place that has just like good food all around. The chicken strips are good. The burgers are good. The salads go okay. Like everything's like pretty decent. That way it satisfies a lot of needs rather than just like one. Like we only have chicken. We have nothing else. So I don't know if that's helpful in terms of like adding a little bit of context of how I view these cameras and, and what I actually think of them. Because again, I don't think the Canon R5 and the R6 are awful you know, no one should buy them. I think there's pieces of them that make them unusable for certain people who should not buy them. But if you're purely a photographer and you want to, the autofocus and you like the 45 megapixels on the R5 or you like the R6 for the price point, totally fine. Like have the best burger ever. That's fine. But just know that like I'm only talking about like the, the portion they served up on the side, those chicken strips, those video features that they said were going to be there and then they aren't actually there and they're kind of half baked and they're not all that good. I'm going to go over here and, and look at this other camera and say, wow, Sony did it right or Panasonic is doing it right. They're doing really good across all of these features. And maybe they're not the best, but they have a really good collection of offerings there. 
And that's kind of what I gravitate towards personally because I'm kind of a, a pure hybrid shooter. Like I do both photo and video. I'm not exclusively one or the other. So having a camera that can do it all reasonably well is more important to me than one camera that can do one thing the best and then another thing kind of not at all. And that's kind of where I stand on it. It's not to be, you know, a fanboy one way or the other or, you know, throw shade at Canon or whatever. It's just to say there's different preferences for different people, different shooters. And I think there's kind of room for everybody. It's not about hate and criticism and doing stuff for clicks. It's just about talking about these things in, a, in an honest way so that the people who maybe do want a certain feature know what they're signing up for and they can make informed choices based upon it and just understanding why these cameras get made in the way they are made. So hopefully that can be some kind of signal feedback to Canon, to Sony, to Panasonic to say, hey, we like good autofocus. We don't like overheating. These things are good. These things are bad. And then being the cameras being judged accordingly so that improvements can be made for the future, which I think is really, really valuable. And what the this whole conversation is really all about.